Nine members of the Cowichan First Nation tribe from Duncan, British Columbia, were rescued from the waters of the Strait of Juan de Fuca this morning after their canoe got caught in a riptide and was swamped. All nine were transported by the Coast Guard to the John Wayne Marina in Squim, where ambulances and paramedics were standing by. After evaluation by medics, one person was transported to Olympic Medical Center for further evaluation of possible hypothermia. The canoe's skipper, Norbert Silester, told KSQM News all nine paddlers spent some two hours in the cold waters clinging to their canoe and calling for help on a cell phone that had been stored in a dry bag. Yeah, we had, our phone was in a, a dry bag, so we tried to call a couple of our um, land crews, but nobody reached, so our next option was uh, 911. Sylvester's fellow paddler, Maurice Tom, said they did not capsize, but rather their canoe was swamped. When we swamped out there and I just kicked in my survival mode to make sure everybody else was okay, hanging on the canoe. We, we attempted to bail out our canoe three times, and the, by the third time, then we finally got enough water out to get everybody back in. After getting back into the canoe, the cold, wet paddlers had to wait for another hour before help finally arrived. There's two big ships that passed right by us, really close. <laughs> That's how we got their attention. We were screaming for help. Tom said he was feeling a lot better now that he was covered in a blanket and on dry land. A lot better, warm again. I was starting to lose feeling in my arms and my legs were starting to cramp up a bit and hyperthermia was starting to kick in. The group says they plan to participate in today's welcoming meal and ceremonies at Squam High School and will continue their paddle to Quinault when the canoes depart in the morning. Maurice Tom said of course they would continue their journey we're not quitters, he said. I'm Ed Evans, KSQM News.